Hello and welcome back to the channel. You join me on day five of riding a Honda monkey bike all the way around the UK. Now we've made it from Hunstanton to Tommy Tall up in Scotland, but this is like I said, is day five and so much has happened throughout this trip. I'm hoping to get all the way to John O'Groats and then from John O'Groats even further. That's quite a big distance though, but I need to hack down the miles, but who knows what's going to happen. It's always crazy. Every episode has been. So let's get on with it. Cue the intro. <laughs> This adventure is supported by Kais Heated Apparel, Gerbin, Road Skin Motorcycle Wear, keeping you mm, toasty and safe throughout your adventures. Right, we're currently staying at the Richmond Arms in Tom Mittal, and our plan today is Better Hill. to head from here and then literally go all the way up past Inverness, all the way up to John O'Groats, and hopefully all the way along this coastline. Now, as I'm rubbish to try and figure this out because I don't want to put everything in the sat nav, I'm going to ask the one person with me to at least try to explain how far this is going to be. So this is Gaz, you've joined me. What is this, your third day? Second day? Seems like 20. <laughs> well, you, he, 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 he did it off his own back. I'm not paying him. He's actually paying for himself. Yeah. But you've sort of almost come along as a support vehicle now, sort of, and you basically had to carry loads of my luggage because my rack was starting to dip. You've shot off ahead to make sure that I've got somewhere to stay. Yeah, be organised, one like you. And you've carried fuel, yeah. <laughs> and all, literally all you said all trip is, is how are you doing it in these boots? Why haven't you got this? You've got child boots <laughs> that aren't waterproof. <laughs> Who else? This, it's just a never-ending list of stuff. You're so unprepared. You're like a bad girl guy. <laughs> But the most important thing is, are you having fun? So you literally said you'll stay until you've had enough, and then you're still here, but have you had enough yet? I was, paying, I was staying to pick up the carcass when you went off the road. <laughs> or nick but, the monkey bike. Yeah, or nick the monkey, I don't want a monkey bike. <laughs> but uh, everything seems to be going to plan, having a giggle. We're having a laugh, aren't we? Having a laugh, but I'm still waiting to pick the carcass up, so I'll wait a bit longer. It's like rock and roll, isn't it, all the rock way around? Rock and roll all the way, mate. <laughs> So today, you're mo so much better. Like the whole geography thing for me is, I'm just like putting waypoints. Useless, you, it's called. Well, you actually know where, where we're going. I know going. where we're going. Yeah. So even when we got here, you're like, right, tomorrow, isn't it? Say 260 miles. Today. Yeah. 215. 215 all day. All day with a break at John Edwards after 164 mile. That's quite a way. Well, hopefully we. It can, is for you. Hopefully we can even. On wheelbarrow wheels. We can even do more. We can always ride through the night. Yeah, like we did last night. Yeah, that was that, that was, was that was it was awesome. It was awesome, but it was dangerous. But it was awesome. But when I when I couldn't see and I'd went off the side of almost side of a cliff, I nearly whacked a guy on a monkey bike out last night. <laughs> That's what he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so if you knew, you pretty much know what's going on. So what I need to do now is obviously it takes me like about 30, 40 minutes to put all the gear on and pack everything up, if not longer. So we're going to go down, grab some breakfast, get up, put that on get out on that bike and we'll just see what today brings because there's lots of people trying to find me lots of messages going on and hopefully we'll see some more faces today but either way we have to hammer down those miles so let's get on with it now i've just found the leaflet and found out exactly what i rode through last night so before i do get on the road i drove through this place what's well, a national park right and i t <laughs> i was going up and down left and right in the pitch black then it was fog and it's known massively known for its snow and everything else that's why it's got these sticks inside the road so I, I, god knows what was off of the edge all i do remember is, is as i was going up at one point it just went sheerly black and i just went straight down and that's how it felt and then i had to go off to the left when the light caught the corner and i absolutely bricked myself but it was fun it was one of those ones where you are literally flying left and right and you're having the time of your life and you just don't know you just don't know what's next so you end up breaking over breaking and then car lights behind will brighten up the road that little bit more and you go oh, i can see a bit and you gun it and then suddenly there'll be a bend you go oh like this it was absolute giggle so that's last night that's what that's where i was because i had no idea i generally thought i was lost i was in a national park riding through it there you go right now it is time to get on the bike right pre-riding checks this is how you check your bike over when you're on a trip especially on a little bike because you do use oil and it's not like i've not done this every day okay i haven't so i need to pre-check it and i'll check how many miles i've done as well dead simple tires the knobbly steel look like they've got knobs on engine dirty tires look good chain slightly loose but not worth adjusting yet and all i've got to do 
check the oil and look for any leaks. There's no leaks. And then if I tilt the bike up straight using my beautiful assistant, Mr. Gaz, straighter than that. More straight. <laughs> Yeah, we need oil. <laughs> yeah, we're at an angle now, mate. Yeah, we need a little bit of oil. Right, we're down the road from the petrol station. Oil top up. I should have checked this days ago. <laughs> Every day I should do this. And I was like, I need to check the oil because I thought it might end up being low. Right. <laughs> oil, then it's all good to go. I've hardly got any fuel, but we might even just try and get to the petrol station now. And then um, we'll top it up. I have got a spare can in the backup vehicle. You better not go home, because if he goes home, I've got a feeling I'm gonna run out, because I keep getting to the point where my light's flashing before I can find anywhere. But hey, it's all fun and games, isn't it? On the road, let's get going. So we're just about to go, and because last night it was so cold, I ran my heated vest. I'm pretty much full whack for hours, right up until when I got here. <laughs> and guess what? She ain't gonna fire. So, thankfully I'll have my beautiful assistant, Debbie McGee, and, uh, He's going to use his brute force, and we're going to bump it. You're not allowed to go home at any point now. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get Mr. Dazza turning up to support me as well, because otherwise I am... Oh, hang on, I need to plug my vest in. What a dick. All right, hang on. Stand up, hang on. Plug my vest in, because otherwise the oil will catch. It's all technical. Right, here we go, you ready? Here we go. Yes! Just like that. Monkey bike, number one. Right, have I done everything up? No. Let's do this up properly. It's cold and it's gonna rain. <laughs> surprise, surprise, it's gonna rain. Makes me laugh because I keep getting comments going, oh, it's all right over here at the minute. It's like, it won't be when I get there, mate. <laughs> it's like I'm just riding in the same rainstorm. It's following me everywhere. Right, let's set this up. <laughs> let's put some oil in it before I seize my engine because that will kill the trip. And I'll be putting out another comment. Has anyone got a spare engine they can put in my bike? We are good. The bike is good. I'm not, I'm not turning anything on. I am going to ride to the petrol station we've put fuel in it already because it's just not worth not worth running out of juice and then having no battery power i'm going to be cold for a i reckon i'm going to run it for a good 10 miles or plus and let the battery get some charge now and then i'll run my, my heat stuff probably because it's daylight it's not as cold on a low setting and i'll be good it'll all be fine no bother no bother at all ah what a day and i'm on the road for five to nine. Five to nine, I made it on the road. And that's good, because that's my target, to be on the road by nine o'clock every single day. I could hardly eat any of my breakfast this morning. Massive Scottish fried breakfast, and I don't know what's wrong with me. I had like half a sausage, I just eat half a piece of bacon, and egg, and I'm like, oh, do you know what, I'm done. The dude I'm with, pass your plate, all of a sudden, womp, 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 loving it. He's getting double breakfast. <laughs> and now I won't eat, so what I'm doing, I am literally not eating all day and then having like a hearty meal at night. So I had like a stew last night. A lot of people are going to tell me that's really silly and I absolutely appreciate that that is really silly. But I financially can't afford to buy lunch and probably get around this trip. It's already costing me a lot of money, as you know, and that's my way of skipping, saving money. I will stop and get something from a petrol station if I step to the point where I do feel really hungry. But I'm not. And the same with, I need to buy some water and drink it because I'm not doing it. Um, I'm not having enough drink, so but because I'm visiting people, I'm having a coffee. So I'm like having like a couple of coffees a day, maybe, all day. Um, but I feel alright. I don't feel ill or anything like that. And if I do start feeling funny, I will buy water, and I probably will today because my mouth is dry. But again, it's just money. You do sit there and you go, I don't want to spend any money I don't have to spend because I need it for the fuel, and I need it for the accommodation. And I'm also worried if something goes wrong. And that I need to get towed somewhere, the potential bill. Well, it's all silly because I'm planning on doing this, but I do have my backup credit card. That's the most important thing. I have my bank card, I have my bank, my backup credit card. And if needs be, I'm gonna I'll be I'll be using the credit card, and that's not the best just before Christmas for kids, but um if needs be, needs be, because I want to finish this and I'm I'm really 
I'm committed and it's a laugh and I'm having the time of my life so it's like I could lie and tell you how much I'm struggling I'm not struggling I'm just living it I'm just just absolutely living it this is awesome right plan today let's get there let's get to 160 odd miles to John O'Groats I'm going to get petrol station oil then John O'Groats get that famous photo jump back on the road and keep going anyone that finds me happy days coffee chat miles it's going to be amazing let's do it now I was just about to just about to speed up some awesome little riding footage but welcome to the highlands welcome to these roads it was like this was it, it was like this last night this sort of 13 to 20 percent up and down it was just nuts in the pitch black but now it's daylight I can see the beauty and it's breathtaking it's just absolutely out of this world breathtaking and we're going up again up into the highlands where a man that can't be killed with a big sword shouts something and lightning comes down it's famous for it there we go come on little monkey carry the fat boy up come on you can do it like a beast let's look at these views as well Inverness 14, 49 miles away from here look at mountains beauty stunningness <laughs> oh wow this monkey's flying I've lost all that weight you see it's, just, it's a lack of eating properly just wow simply simply wow if that does not make your heart skip a little beat looking over that of the mountains and the awesomeness nothing will Scotland has so much to offer so many amazing biking roads it's just something special and we're only just starting I am one lucky lucky boy to be doing this right power more roads let's go a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, somewhere I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky I found my way, I found my way I was in the dark against it all But made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way Right, we've just done, how many miles have we done? Not a right, we're going to say about, I reckon about 70, 80, because I'm almost out of juice. Or 70 or 80. Is it? No, well, I don't know what it is now. <laughs> and we're going to put some oil in, because I know it's super low, but I've got a cable, so it doesn't matter. But do you stick a little, little bit in for us, because these cables can get in the way? Ooh, and then we'll straighten it and we'll check it. I was, all the whole time I've been riding, I've been there going like... I need someone to stop, I need someone to stop, I need someone to stop. Because you just panic that you're going to uh, run out and it's going to seize. So we're putting in 10.40, hoping it's going to burn less off. Someone's going to put in the comments that's a stupid idea, but that's what I'm doing. And it's cheaper than your tyre. 
I am tight and it's cheaper, yeah, it's, you are right. That's the only thing with these little bikes. Just burn all, especially this is race prepped and I'm holding it on full revs oh, everywhere I go. Long enough to catch up with you. I know dude, I'm not doing, according to me I'm doing like 80 miles an hour. I know you're not <laughs> There's no way I've used half a litre of oil. I mean we're 900 and something miles I've done though, but even still. Yeah, it's, I didn't know that well this morning. I thought you were adjusting a bit. Let me tilt it and see, see when it kicks in, hang on. Have a look now, see if it's there. It's just showing. Just showing? That's upright. Right, let's tilt it back for a minute. That would do, because it's probably going to have to pump down some anyway, so it's hot. Check, check it again with the stock. Never forget not to bring spare oil, a guy in a van, and fuel whenever you do an adventure, alright? Yeah. I thought I went to pick up the oil and fuel I lost stock when I washed my van. <laughs> I was a bit off in the van. So I had to get out and get cooled down. And I was thinking about you and I completely forgot to pick the fuel and oil up. I swear you only brought your shorts to take the piss. Yeah. No, it's all the way time, mate. Right. Time. Let's do some more miles. Change your boots first. Boy, you bought boots? I bought boots from all the socks, mate, yeah. I'll keep them as a surprise. What boots? They're big boots. I've got three pair of boots on it. But how big are the boots? Size 13s. They're not going to fit me. Got one of these socks? Try one and you get out of that. I'm not going to, I'm going to keep going, mate. You're going to I'm going to keep going. Keep going. Because if I take these off here, it's going to be a fucking nightmare. So I'm just thinking if I get somewhere, if we stop for a coffee at some point, I can sit down and do it properly. Right. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is best for you. Yeah, because if we do it here, I'm going to be dangling, falling over myself. Yeah. Yeah, get to John O'Groats. Right, that's what we're doing, John O'Groats. So just stopped at an Asda for a quick coffee. My non-waterproof boots are drenched through. I'm riding, just, I've been riding through torrential rain, it's actually stopped for a second. While I was in there, brainstorm, food bag, over this, I've bought another cable. This is my fourth electric cable to try and charge this. Hopefully this little fix is going to work because I don't want to run out of power. Uh, Gaz has gone off with my credit card to go and buy me some waterproof boots and he's messaged the place, the bike place, and he's off there to get it. So I'm going to hopefully meet him at John O'Groats. 86 miles to John O'Groats. And that's it. 86 miles, I say that's it, for a, for a picture by the sign. And then we start to head across and down. And that'll be the north point done and it's just south all the way down but anyway i will check in in a second at john o'groats that's ingenious if it works so something's just happened and i've had to pull over because for me this is an iconic moment a big moment a moment that deserves celebrating look at this we have just done look 1,000 miles, 1,000 miles so far on this trip. This little bike's bloody incredible. Now as I'm stood by <laughs> the busy A9 still heading to John O'Groats and it is actually sprinkling with rain. I can't, I can't put the camera down and mess around. I need to get there. So I'm gonna do this little victory. Woo, woo, woo moment. I'm dead excited. You can tell I'm, <laughs> I'm buzzing. When I saw that, I was like, yes, 1,000 miles. But of course, while I was pulled over, I had to have a little boy stop at the side of the road next to a busy one. But most of all, most of all, what's incredible is that when I did go to the loo, obviously, if you don't know, and I probably haven't mentioned it yet, of course, that I'm wearing road skin jeans. And they're still bone dry under here. The waterproof's over the top. And I've been riding through rain for hours and hours. And they're still dry. They're still super comfortable. And they're still the best jeans in the world. They are absolutely awesome. Just in case I haven't mentioned that, <laughs> I really like these jeans. I'm not making that up either. I'm so impressed with them, it's crazy. Now what I'm doing with the Kais stuff, because I'm wearing my Kais heated stuff today, is I'm running my gloves on full whack and I'm running my jacket on medium because it is getting quite chilly. 
but I wouldn't know it if it wasn't for my wet shoes that are not waterproof, that are absolutely soaked and freezing cold. My jeans, perfectly fine. My top, snug as an oven. Oh, is that a word? I don't know. Nice and warm. Like You generally wouldn't know it's cold, but <laughs> my shoes... My feet are freezing. I put those heated socks on, the ones I bought, so they're buying like uh, seal skin socks. Put these heated socks on, put the batteries on. I don't think they work at all. And honestly, I don't know if they did work in the beginning because you don't feel anything but cold. So uh, keeping your toes warm with, chi with cheap Chinese heated battery operated socks in torrential rain, really bad idea. And I've probably got acid dripping down on me. Back on the bike, John O'Groats, I'm getting there. I am getting there and my water and my phone's charging with the waterproof thing that we've done so that game changer still on my way to John O'Groats I pulled over not for this amazing view that is absolutely stunning but they've sort of cut back on the forestry and stuff but you can see for miles I pulled over because I can't charge my phone now I've actually gone and bought two more cables so I've got four in total I put them in after about 10-15 minutes it just says water damage liquid and cable blah de blah de blah I put a bag over it, that's not worked either. So I'm pretty much now at the point where I think I need to do something because I can't get the tracker going and the sat nav going for everyone to follow me and obviously keep an eye on where I'm going. I can, <laughs> there I know I can get a map, I know all that stuff, but I want people to be able to follow the journey. It's really important because I like everyone to get involved in it as much as possible. I'm going to try and put it in the little um, tank bag on the, on the clear bit, but to be honest, that tank bag is soaked in right through when it rains. It's just cheap and nasty. Water gets in there. But I'm going to try that. Hopefully that's going to work. It just makes things, if anyone calls or, or anything happens, it drops the sat nav. That means I've got to pee around every time. But it's my only option. It's just, ah, oh, I was hoping that I could just keep changing cables every half an hour or something, and but it's not working. Anyway, let's try that and keep going during the great worst cases i just turn the screen off so the power lasts that little bit longer but when you're running track and everything it just kills the battery damn over there behind those trees or if you can see in the distance that sky looks like a glimmer of sunshine no matter when it rains and pours no matter if my phone isn't charging properly there's always something in there that makes you go buzzing again and seeing that and the sea and knowing that i'm on the nc500 that I've done in the Great Adventure 2 that you can watch where I stop all the way along here at different really cool places. I mean, this is a great road, it's lovely, but seeing that glimmer of sunshine, the sea down there, knowing I've got those twisters, I'm still happy. I'm still buzzing and I'm still loving every second. So, I was riding along the side of the road and there was this really cool red grom this dude hand in the air waving away and you've traveled from where uh, um, Thurza. from where Thurzel. Thurzel. i have no idea where that is so, so johnny grom so, well, <laughs> and yeah, everything's far away up here it, and, and petrol stations just uh, big every, gaps this yeah, way yeah, you said yeah. about 20 miles didn't you past yeah, in between there's normally one in every village good it's all contactless that's that's all i need i just need fuel and introduce yourself so everybody knows who you are oh so i'm mikey um i live right at the top and yeah i'm the guy on the little bike and you've got the first generation grom i do yeah yeah um, and it looks mint it's good it's mint i bought it of a friend and I'll, I'll soon get bored of it and sell it within a week probably because <laughs> You know what bike you're going to buy next? Monkey, probably. Yeah. yeah. It needs to be the monkey. It needs to be a yellow one. Got to be a yellow monkey, yeah. Um, the Grom one's just a little bit cheaper. It is, isn't it? It's still a great... The same engines, and they yeah, do... Yeah, same they, engines, they, they same forks, do. same wheels. And I've seen your pictures. You've took yours, haven't you? Pretty much green lane in yeah, and all I've that been, sort of all up, the time. I've been up to the exhaust and water with it and it. Well, I know I haven't because I'm selling it. And it's been really good. <laughs> you kept it in the garage uh, and you've polished it, 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 not took it off road. Um, no, it's really good. They, they are good. Um, the Super Cub was on my list. Yeah. But they're a bit too gadgety. So. And I know people say it's a keyless ignition, but that doesn't bother me because you wouldn't complain if you had a starting handle on your car, would you? No, exactly. So that doesn't bother. It just it looks too much like a Vespa. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I get that. I like yeah. the idea that you can just take a panel off engine rather than if it goes flat, you've got to take all the plastics off, and change yeah. the battery. I get that. It's very mopedy. So what's your plan? You're going to follow me. So I'm going to follow you up to Wick and then yep. Johnny Groats. Yep. And then back to Thurzo and I'll just wave you off. Cool. Or as far as I can lap that seat. 
I think you'll be alright. You'll be fine. I'll, I'll, I'll probably be alright. You need petrol do not you? We do, yeah. So cool. So I have a quick look at your bike, but thank you, dude. All right. Yeah, no worries. Man. Cool. So you can hear I'm on a massive main road. It's really windy, so hopefully you can hear me on the on the on the audio. God, we're getting tired. You can tell. This is the first ever production of the Grom. I'm going to class it as the first ever main one, just to make it sound posh. It's probably not, but that's what we'll say. It looks cool. It's clean. Anyway, let's just jump back on the road. I need to get to John and Groves. It's getting into the afternoon now. I need to get there so I can start heading across. Well, I've just had an awesome chat with Mikey. What a lovely bloke. And what some stories that he was telling me um, and some of the adventures that he does. And he doesn't do stuff on YouTube or any of that, but he should, because honestly, the stuff he's got up to, little adventures and journeys on little bikes and stuff he's done, just sounds absolutely epic. Now, my bike cut out a few times then. It was on two bar, and then it dropped to one inside flash, and that's gone back to one. So I'm hoping I've not got a problem. It might just be a little bit low and maybe an angle. Anyway, fuel. Let's get there. Let's look at this Grom. Fuel. Oh. It's, well, it went down to one bar, started flashing. It was at two. Right. Went down to one bar and started flashing. And then it cut out and then it's gone back to one bar. So my bike's just stalled and I managed to get in. <laughs> and I thought it was fuel because the fuel light flashed and then it went off again. We've had a shake of the tank. It's got fuel in it still. I've just managed to get it to fire again. So hopefully we can get going, but I don't know. Hopefully I can get to petrol station. Hopefully it's a little bit of water getting into it or but it's just the way the fuel flashed and it felt like it had just lost fuel, nothing else. But maybe it's just a little glitch. Hopefully. That's a good sign. Try again. See it's already gone down to one bar again. Yeah well so when you come into Wix there's a petrol station on your right. Just going into the town you'll see. Straight it. there. Right, are you ready? Let's try. That was weird. It was like it was lost fuel. It was really weird because I saw it flash up fuel wise on here because it had two bar and it should get me easily to where I want to get to, even on one bar. But it literally went two, one, flash, 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 cut out. So if that's why it feels like it's more of a fuel issue than anything else. I don't know. Maybe it's just an air leak in there or something. I've been literally brimming this uh, fuel tank every time. And you see a little bit drip out the overflow if you stop after you've filled it up. Just to get as many miles as possible. I don't know, maybe I've got a bit of trapped air in there. I don't know. Please just keep going. Please just keep going. Come on, monkey. You've never let me down. You've battled through everything. Absolutely everything I've ever thrown at you. And... Uh, Everything I've ever I've ever thrown at you ever. I've just seen Gaza go by. That's that's a positive thing to see. And she's never done that. She's never ever. It's got to just be a bit of air in the fuel. It's got to be. This monkey is strong as an ox. I'm not too far, I believe, from a petrol station, but I'm already got my fuel light flashing again, and it's what it did before it died earlier. So I do think it's a fuel thing. Obviously, I've been a little bit of time because. Uh, Gaz has come flying back the other way and he's van flashing at me so he's obviously got a bit of concern bless him but I don't want to stop because I want to get to the petrol station I've unplugged everything so the battery's getting a bit of a charge in case it does die again but she's not skipped a beat since she is hammering along nicely again so I, it's got to be it's just, it's just got to be a little bit of airlock in there or something happened but she's still going. The monkey is still going. And I know that uh, I put more fuel in the fuel can in the van, so if it conks out, he's right behind me now. I'm all good. I'm all good. So come on, boy, girl, monkey, 
whatever you want to be let's just go okay so she's made it to a petrol station I filled her up it, again it, it, it's weird it doesn't really drop two wood and flash that quickly so I don't know but what I've managed to do is get here to Wick this is where I'm currently at Wick, Wick in Scotland I'm 60 miles from John O'Groats. I'm following Mikey on his Grom. This is a little bit quicker because of the gearing, so I was bombed off, but I'm just desperate to get to a petrol station. It looks like we're all good again. So finally, I keep saying this to you all, but finally, the next scene should be us at John O'Groats. That's the plan, unless I have another problem. Every day, every day has been something crazy, isn't it? Every day, and today's no different. That was a little bit of a bum twitch when that cut out. I was like, no, 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 come on, we're, we're not even halfway yet, come on. Whew. Right, I'm happy, I'm good, I'm chilled, John O'Groats. And then it looks like, because the amount of time it's all taken me, there might be a bit of night riding again, because I'm pretty sure after John O'Groats there's about another 60, 70 miles to go. From what I can remember, I've kind of forgotten now what Gaz said, because I've left him to now organise where we're staying. Yeah. Either way, it might be a bit of night time riding again, but I don't care. Life is awesome, the monkey is running. I've got a cool dude with me who's a local that knows where we're going in case my sat nav dies. Everything's, everything's good, everything's cool. Now, I've got 12 miles to go, I've just come round the bend and there's a dude waving at us on a red monkey. Thumbs up, someone else is joining us. Mikey on a grom me on the yellow monkey and they say the red monkeys are faster so he's holding himself back a bit how cool is that and we're going to turn up at john o'groats in true little honda awesome style what a feeling what i'm buzzing you can tell it my voice can't you i'm grinning from ear to ear because no matter what everybody's adventure <laughs> oh it feels good it is rocking my world let's go So guys, it's getting dark. We were supposed to be here like, what, two hours ago? Yeah, so we'll stop for a chat. Well, it was a chat and then the bike broke down and then you came back and you would have rescued me. It would have been a moment. I came back because the tracker wasn't moving as a lot of people all know. It's still frozen now. Is it? It's showing you 30 miles away. Is it yeah. really? It's probably because so my battery's was half dead. Ditch, to be honest. Well, you come flying past, so you were. Yeah. I was like, I was You're impressed. Just you smiling, had the, going another way, waving your hands, man. You had the Baywatch moment of running <laughs> yeah. in, in, in into the sea, but then there's no one there to rescue. But yeah, there's no one to rescue. Nice little thing. Cheers for the around. coffee, though. It's all right. We, we made both. it here, mate. We're here. Now we've just got 60 odd miles in the dark to go. 80. Don't know. Just say 60 to me. I don't 60. want 80. I can't 60. do 80. <laughs> Five miles to go. Five miles, good, five miles to go. Well, you've come a long way, you got here before me, you've been chasing me, you've had a, a bit That's of a journey. morning. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favour, introduce yourself to everybody, tell us about your channel and also tell us about your bike. Uh, my bike, uh, so I am uh, Twist and Go, and uh, yeah, I've got the, the channel, I kind of kicked that off when uh, my dad was ill, so, uh, but uh, yeah, essentially we've got the, we've got the monkey. We've got the monkey, we've got the GSXR, and uh, there is another bike uh, that is now part of the channel, but uh, I've not done a video on that yet, so that's, uh, that's coming, it's coming. But yeah, I've been, I've been chasing you since uh, since Tom and Tell this morning, so um, in the rain, which I'm sure you're well aware of how bad it's been. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, it's been it's been good. It's been good. I was determined to catch you. So uh, yeah, yeah. GoPro uh, GoPro batteries have obviously just cratered again. That's put them off. They do, didn't they? It's literally change after change oh, after change. It's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. But you made it, and made you're it. and you're yeah. on a red, and we proved a good point. We proved a good point yeah. that the reds are quick enough because I got here before you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, the yellow's still faster now, just because I overtook. Doesn't matter if you probably slowed down to let me go by. But we'll just have that as a proper win. But anyway, dude, cheers, mate. For, cheers for know. coming it's, all it's, this it's, way. It's good. It's good to catch up with you while you're while you're here. So. I've got a long way to go now, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> across the pretty hill and then. And just keep going. Yeah. Uh, yeah stay there tonight and then go, across, go, go. Across the Alpine. Yeah, it'll be good. Fuck.
Yes. Monkey keeps cutting out again. It might just be wet somewhere. Let's do it. These are the boys, they're off ski. Let's go. I'm really ruined now, the monkey boy's gonna cut out. It'll be alright. It'll be alright, ski. Everything's plugged in. I think that air filter sucked in some water now and it's just a bit wet. That's what I'm hoping for. It got here alright, it flew here alright. There he goes on his monkey. What a legend for turning up. What a legend. Right, put my comms on so I can hear the sound now because I can't see it properly. There's the Grum, he's going home. What, how legendary is it? Two awesome people. And it was nice to chill out with both of them. Now it's just good old me. Gaz, the support vehicle, he's definitely staying for another night because we've booked a hotel. It's dark. We're supposed to leave John of Groats probably about two o'clock at the latest. I have no idea what time is it saying it is now. 20 to 5 about 50 miles something like that and we'll be at the hotel what a day what an adventure what a way to do it coming into John O'Groats as the sun goes down that felt quite special then the sun went out just as we to take pictures that didn't feel as special but the jump the picture that felt amazing the one we were going to use on the thumbnail that was really cool I filled up not that long ago, so we should easily now get there. Just got to keep on trucking, or monkeying. So, as there's not much point unless something goes wrong, of filming for you guys pretty much into the dark, I should, if all goes well, see you in a minute. Oh, hang on a second, hang on, before I jump forward to arriving at the hotel, because surely nothing will go wrong. I've got boots, so as I said, Gaz had gone off, I gave him a credit card, he's gone off and he's got me some RST boots, he said it was the, he didn't have a lot at the shop, the guy was a real arrogant little weasel, um, but he bought me these boots and uh, they've one size up to my normal size so I can get socks in. Um, I got given a pair of socks by the awesome dude, so I've got a warm dry pair of socks because people carry socks in their back box, it's a, it's a true fact. He gave me a pair of socks. So I put the pair of socks on. Gaz ringed out my wet electric Chinese socks that have to go in the bin to be quite frank because they don't work and they're rubbish. And I will now keep these pair of socks on forever because I was given them and they mean the world. So I should now, even if it rains, have dry feet. And that was my only complaint. My kai stuff's keeping me warm. My road skin jeans with a waterproof overlay stay bone dry and now I've got proper, proper boots and thick socks. So it's all good. Anyway, after all that awesomeness, as you can say, there's not a lot to see as we ride into the dark, into the abyss. Other than I will see you at the hotel if nothing goes wrong. I hope. Well, that was a ride and a half. The monkey bike who was literally cutting out and dying, I could do quarter throttle. And then I literally was nursing it for ages and ages and ages and ages, and then it seemed to pick up again. It doesn't seem to say I'm going as fast as I was on the speedo, but it seems to be holding good speed all the way through the rev, and I'm really just hoping it's a little bit of water and it's now cleared. But once we got going, I caught up with uh, with, uh, with with Gaz in, in the van. We were running along, and <laughs> it was then avoid the sheep as we were going through the mountain road. <laughs> so from the bike going funny to avoiding sheep. But thankfully, we've arrived at the hotel, and the gentleman that owns the hotel has let me put the bike sort of in the sort of garagey bit. So hopefully, it will get a good night of drying out and not be sat out in any weather. And hopefully that will be it. It was just a bit of bad water. That's what I'm hoping. But let me tell you exactly where I am, how far we've come, and let you check out this hotel room and the place we're staying. So we have travelled all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up to John O'Groats. And then we've then come all the way down here to Betty Hill. This is where we're staying for the night. Obviously, we're now on the north coast. And we're staying in the Betty Hill Hotel. Gaz is all settled down, chilled out. How are you feeling after today? Was it an emotional one? Emotional. 
There was a, there was some times you came back for me when I bike cut out the first time. We passed each other, and it was ages, wasn't it? And you thought like I was in a ditch I or something. You can fly ditch, yeah. him back past. Because he couldn't be bothered sending me a message. Well, I was trying to try, <laughs> try to get my bike to run, and I actually thought you were in the shop. What you were, I gave you my credit card and my pin number. I had a good um, time. Thank you very much. And I don't know what he spent on it because, yeah, I, I'm not going to look, <laughs> but. <laughs> He picked me up these bad boys because my feet are so soaking wet. So I've got some RSTs. These are just 90 quid ones. But the difference was amazing. Twist and Go, YouTube channel that we saw, he got me these beautiful, beautiful socks. What a legend. So this is the hotel room. This was how much a night? 85 quid. 85 quid a night. By far the best. By far right, the best. Right, 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 right. Twin beds, even further apart. So no more in rolling over trying to touch my hand. Uh, wardrobe as per usual somewhere to edit what's absolutely amazing it's got a bible. has it got a bible that's a good question hair dryer no no complaining no bible that is yeah. true uh place to edit absolutely awesome tell you that we never use because we literally come upstairs i edit he falls asleep um shower and a proper shower look at that it's got the rain bit in it so this is proper posh for us now and it's just good it's just really really good i'm excited just to be here now we mates here pretty much from here the plan of it is just go down the west coast obviously heading south hopefully start hacking down those miles tomorrow but it's going to be mountainy it could potentially be snowy <laughs> and potentially more crazy hopefully the monkey bike's going to be fine i'll give it a run tomorrow if not i will drop a post like i do on social media see if anyone that can help if oh we'll just have to figure it out but right now it's time for a beer time for me to drink that get on with editing episode three i think i've got to edit we're on day five so i'm starting to lag behind a bit but i'm literally riding through the night to get to these places anyway i will see you in tomorrow's crazy episode where we hope the monkey will start see you later <laughs>